hey you guys welcome back to my channel today we're gonna be making some burrito queso tacos like <laughs> look at them burrito queso tacos like don't don't play don't play you see it but anyways if you are subscribing to my account thank you for supporting me on this journey you are not subscribing to my account go ahead and click that subscribe button down below and i promise you won't be disappointed <laughs> All right, so now what I'm doing here is just cutting up the meat into pieces just so that it'll cook evenly. Now I'm going to place them into my pot of boiling water. Also, some people, they will like sear their meat before they put it in the water or however they cook theirs. But it's just to each its own. It's however you want to make it. But now I'm going to add the onions and all of my chili peppers. I just added two different peppers. Um, I don't know how to pronounce them, but here they are on the screen. <laughs> and then I'm going to add all of my seasonings. I added lemon pepper. Like, y'all ain't never heard of that lemon pepper. Yeah, I put lemon pepper in there. I got my own little twist on it. And then I also added some chili powder, some cumin powder. And then I'm really just going to list all of the ingredients down below because I forgot to show it in... I was like, oh my gosh, I'm just over here sprinkling seasoning and not showing it to y'all. <laughs> but I got y'all in the description, trust me. <laughs> I started showing it after the fact. I was like, oh my gosh. But yeah, okay, I got the onion powder, garlic powder. Okay, so next we're gonna add some paprika. And paprika really ain't got no flavor. It's just for the color, honestly and truly. Now, if you guys smoke paprika, it's a different situation. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna put the black pepper. And then also, I'm going to go in and add some salt to the mixture. Going to add that salt to that pot. <laughs> then we're going to add two cubes of chicken bouillon. And I also added two cubes of beef bouillon. And now I'm going to add some more cumin. Because I just like that real Mexican flavor. Like authentic. I don't know if that's authentic for real. But it's authentic to me. And I like it. I like the way it smells and everything. So now I'm just going to mix all of that up so I can make sure all the seasonings is mixed well in there. And then make sure that the peppers, the chilies are covered in the water so they can um, hydrate. Oh, that looks good already. Like, I just want to drink the broth, honestly. <laughs> but anyways, what I'm doing now is just taking out the peppers and onions. And I also added garlic in there as well. But I didn't put that in the clip. I forgot. I'm sorry. But y'all was going to know that anyway. Because I was going to put it in the description. <laughs> but I'm putting it into the a blender. So you have to blend up all of your peppers and your onions that have been cooked down. And you do that like after the first 30 minutes. You check on them to see if they are hydrated. Okay. Now I'm putting the pepper and onions back into the broth baby i had to do that in slow motion for y'all it's just something about that i don't know it's like so mesmerizing i know it's mesmerizing to some of y'all too so i just had to do it for y'all for the one time for the one time <laughs> all right now what we're going to do is just stir it up all together make sure that all the peppers and onion is all incorporated with this meat and that broth and then we just gonna put the top back on it and let it sit for another two hours and we should be done now it is done and baby look at that pull apart barely touching it do not play because that's how you want your meat to be you don't want no tough meat at all no 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 <laughs> i'm gonna do it again for you come on now if it ain't looking like that, you got to cook it some more. At least an hour more. Because <laughs> no ma'am. Alright, now we at the fun part. So first what I did was dip it in my um oil that I made. It's a chili oil. I'll put that down in the description below too as well for you guys. So what I'm doing is just frying the tortilla. I'm doing a corn tortilla first. And I'm frying it on both sides. Make sure it's crisp. We want no soggy taco now. We're going to do no soggy taco. No, ma'am. <laughs> now I'm going to add like a thin layer of cheese because I'm going to place a flour tortilla on top. Mm -hmm. So you got that crunchy and soft at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> the cheese is just to hold it together, basically. 
All right, so now I'm gonna add some more cheese and I'm using quesadilla cheese. You can use mozzarella cheese, whatever cheese you prefer. Now I'm gonna add the meat on top. Add that meat. That meat looks so good. Now I want one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now we're gonna add some broth on top of it, that consomme. All right, however you say it. I'm trying to learn. <laughs> now I'm adding cilantro and I'm gonna add some red onions on there as well. And then we're just gonna let it sit there, let it get fried up on it real good. And now we finna flip it. Flip it on over. Oh my God, y'all. These tacos are really, really, really good. Like, if you don't like these burrito tacos, there's absolutely, positively something wrong with you. And I mean that. <laughs> Cause look at it, how could you not like this taco? You're crazy, you're crazy. <laughs> I'm going to just redo it again for y'all. But this time, I went ahead and just poured the oil in there. I just felt like it was easier that way for me. And it was like, you know, not going to get stuck to the pan. And I really prefer to do these in the cast iron skillet. Just my preference. <laughs> so, like I said, we're going to add that quesadilla cheese on top of that corn tortilla. After you don't fry both sides. And then you're going to go ahead and add that flour tortilla on top of it. Because we doubling this taco okay we doubling it then you're gonna add some more quesadilla cheese on top of the flour tortilla and then go ahead and add that meat all that juicy meat right there that pull apart meat <laughs> and then also you're gonna add your cilantro and your onions Now you're going to go ahead and flip it over. You're going to see that real golden tortilla. Like, oh my gosh. Just golden. Look at my like golden. <laughs> Let me stop. But anyways, I forgot to add that broth to there. That consumer, I forgot to add it. I was like, hold on, it don't look juicy enough. I got to add something. And I was like, oh, yep, forgot it. But yeah, again, another good looking taco another good now here is the final product and the side of consume oh my god y'all these tacos is the tacos that you want to eat you can make these at home don't even gotta go buy them because they probably don't even taste good honestly <laughs> now if we do that pull apart yeah don't play thank you guys for watching my video and i hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you, guys. Mwah.